The environmental technology of Japan is among the most advanced technology in the world. In 2011, the market size of Japan's environmental industry was estimated at 82 trillion yen, and it now accounts for 8% of the Japanese industry. While industrial growth overall has been stagnant in recent years, the environmental industry is growing steadily and promises to continue driving the economic growth of Japan in the future. There are high expectations for global contributions by Japan in this technology, particularly in other Asian countries. Yasuhiro Goto, a member of Nikkei Shimbun Business Newspaper's editorial board, says export of environmental technologies can bring great benefits to Japan as well. The waste treatment and recycling sector accounts for over half of the environmental industry. Its market size is estimated at 43 trillion yen. This scale is comparable to that of the auto industry. In this field, the focus is presently on waste combustion technology. Waste combustion technology is advancing dramatically. Japan's unique technologies are drawing attention from all over the world. They are used not only to burn all types of waste, but also to generate energy. What's more, these clean technologies produce no harmful exhaust gases. In this program, we will catch up with one company that is offering the world its revolutionary waste combustion technologies and look at the way forward for the environmental business, a business destined to shape Japan's future. This is the Tokyo Metropolitan Government's Tokyo Super Eco Town project. Private sector companies were invited to build advanced facilities for treatment of construction waste, food waste, and other materials at a site on the Tokyo waterfront. The project aims to resolve the growing waste management issue and contribute to the development of the environmental industry. This is called the Super Eco Plant. This facility treats industrial and medical waste. Large amounts of medical waste are hauled to the plant, about 11,000 tons a year. The Super Eco plant processes nearly half of the medical waste generated in Tokyo. A lot of medical waste does not burn easily or contains moisture, making it difficult to incinerate. It requires burning a large amount of fuel, which drives up costs. However, this plant's specialized incinerator called the vertical combustor, enables more efficient combustion. This Japanese technology is without parallel anywhere in the world. It makes it possible to incinerate medical waste cleanly and efficiently. With this innovative mechanism, the waste itself is used as fuel. There is no need to add supplementary fuel to the furnace. Since the combustion temperature can be raised high enough without adding fuel, there is virtually zero emission of toxic gases containing carbon monoxide, dioxins, and so forth. What's more, the heat produced is used to generate electricity. After being incinerated for five to six hours, the medical waste is reduced to ash. No solids are left behind. The 
、えー、廃棄物でございますけれども上手に燃やして、まあ、完全燃焼させるという性能を持っているということでバーチカルロは非常に高く評価しております。Plantech Incorporated is the company that developed this spectacular combustor. While the company has sales offices throughout Japan, the entire workforce is just over 100 people. This relatively small company is at the very forefront of combustion technology. Chief Executive Officer Seizo Katsui founded the company and has led it for 46 years. He began research in the field around 50 years ago when there was still no such thing as a mechanical incinerator made in Japan. Today, his company has produced a revolutionary combustor without parallel in the world. This technology has earned numerous awards. Including the Science and Technology Agency Director General's Award. In 2008, Seizo Katsui was honored with Japan's Yellow Ribbon Medal for many years of contributions to environmental technology. So, just what is it that makes this technology so innovative? In a conventional incinerator, Waste is placed on a conveyor belt and fed horizontally into the furnace. However, with this process, some materials are left unburnt. By contrast, the Plantech Incorporated vertical combustor incinerates completely and generates almost no toxic gases. The secret is in the vertical structure. Waste is fed into the combustion chamber on top of waste already burning at a high temperature inside. The heat from below dries and oxidizes the waste material, putting it in a highly combustible state before it burns. It then burns until it turns to embers and then to ash. While the process is time consuming, it requires no addition of auxiliary fuel and incinerates the waste without fail. The volume of combustion air is an essential factor. Drastically reducing the volume of air inside and intentionally creating an oxygen poor environment ensures that no waste will be left unburned. No one has been able to achieve this technological breakthrough until now. ま、いろんなま、正常並びにいろんなま、水分の含水率持ってますけれども、そういったものがですね、ま、非常にコンパクトな燃焼機の中で全てま、完全燃焼するとこのバーティカルロと言いますのは、え、排気物の層をですね、
Mr. Katsui was involved in developing the first mechanical incinerator made in Japan. In 1967, at the age of 28, Mr. Katsui struck out on his own and founded a company. At the beginning, there were just five people. Soon they received an order for an incineration plant from the government of the Philippines. The company earned a claim and grew. More new technologies were developed one after another. Nineteen eighty eight, twenty one years after the company was established, was a turning point for Mr. Katsui. Near New York in the United States, illegally dumped medical waste washed up on the shore, and the beach had to be closed to swimmers. Mr. Katsui set off to the U.S. with a professor from Kyoto University. The two of them had been research partners for many years, and now they embarked on a study of medical waste treatment in the U.S. Upon returning to Japan, Mr. Katsui began working out an idea for a new type of incinerator. He presented his idea for a vertical combustion system to the company's engineers right away. But they doubted whether it was really possible. After all, no one had ever built something like this before. Mr. Iwamura, who was on the design team at that time, looks back on the early stages of development. Five years of trial and error ensued. Finally, in 1994, an unprecedented combustor was completed. It was installed at the medical waste incineration facility of Kyoto University Hospital. This was a huge step forward for the field of medical waste treatment, which poses a challenge of global proportions. The vertical combustor technology, proven effective in the treatment of medical waste, has since gone on to be applied to the incineration of municipal waste and industrial waste as well. Minami Sanriku, Miyagi Prefecture. Here as well, Mr. Katsui's combustion technology is at work. It's being used to dispose of rubble generated in massive amounts by the Great East Japan earthquake, which happened on March 11th, 2011. Debris in areas struck by the tsunami is difficult to incinerate. Being soaked in seawater and mixed with large amounts of sand and mud. This was a job for the vertical combustor. Three combustors were constructed with an annual incineration capacity of 100,000 tons. The vertical combustor contributed to a huge endeavor, disposing of all of Minami Sanriku's debris within one year. In 2007, the vertical combustor was selected as a technology for a medical waste treatment facility in Dubai, UAE. The vertical combustor beat out competitors from 10 countries worldwide, thanks to its advanced technology and environmental performance, which meets the EU's emission standards, the most stringent regulations in the world. What Mr. Katsui is endeavoring to do now is change people's image of waste treatment. One way of doing this is to paint incineration plants colorfully. This does away with the gloomy image of waste incinerators and makes them a welcome part of the landscape. And it also boosts the morale of people who work there.
At the Osaka headquarters of Plantech, there's a hall open to the public. Here, concerts and seminars with famous speakers are held, helping to boost the image of the industry. Mr. Katsui's revolutionary combustion technology is earning accolades internationally. Mr. Goto spoke to Mr. Katsui about what's on the horizon. ま、動脈とですね、作ったもので、もう使われなくなったものを、ま、廃棄していくという、ま、動脈の経済があるとありますけども、この動脈の方の経済というのがですね、やっぱりいろんな問題を今起こしていて、そこの課題を克服しなき